Hi everyone, Michelle here from Strawberry Designs and today I'm going to do a quick Bible journaling video and I'm going to try to do this as a process video so that I talk to you while I do it. This is part of a collaboration with YouTube and Blog Collaborators so there will be a playlist linked below in the description on what we're doing. And I'm going to be working from John chapter 3 verse 3. Jesus replied, Very truly, I tell you, no one can see the kingdom of God unless they are born again. So this month's theme is on birth and rebirth. I'm going to stick just a dollar store placemat that obviously I've used many times before in between my pages to protect my other pages and to give me a hard surface. And I'm going to be using some Distress Oxide ink in Squeezed Lemonade peacock feathers and twisted citron and I'm going to use some blending brushes and I'm just going to dab the brush onto the ink and then brush the ink onto the page so it's just going to give a very light hopefully a very light background And I need to take the ink off of there because I think that's making too much noise. Let's do some of the peacock. Just giving a little bit of color here to my page. And this is so light, I think I would do some over on this side. I usually don't cover up the words. And but since this is so light, it's not covering up the words. It's just adding some color to the page. So I think that's cool. Now I'm working with the Twisted Citron, and I like how those two colors are kind of looking together. Now you watch some people like in card making videos, and they do the, the same type of thing, but they're much more patient, and, and theirs looks much more smooth. I kind of run out of patience and start dabbing it on, and, but you know, to each their own. I'm good with it. The green and the yellow that I'm using are kind of blending together so that you can't see where one ends and the other begins. That's okay. All right. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to use some letter stamps and some black ink. This is Memento Tuxedo Black Ink. It's a dye-based ink. and when I was little, I was in a ministry, it was a puppet ministry, and one of the songs that our puppets sang all the time was from a group called Agape Land, and Barry McGuire sang this song. It was a very popular song, like back in the, the 70s, called Bullfrogs and Butterflies. And it Bullfrogs and butterflies, we've both been born again. Bullfrogs and butterflies, both been born again. And it would kind of tell a story about how um, both a bullfrog and a butterfly, you know, they start off life as one thing, the, the bullfrog as the tadpole and, and the butterfly as a caterpillar, and then they are changed and transformed and born again. And kind of relating that to you know us in our spiritual walk that we also can be born again just like the bullfrog and just like the butterfly when we accept Jesus into our lives and it's a really cool children's song and I looked it up and it is available on YouTube so I would definitely search for that it's called bullfrogs and butterflies and um, just really a great song. Okay, so I smeared that. These stamps have the rubber that goes all the way to the side. They're a little cheaper stamp. And that's what happens sometimes if you're not careful. So I'm going to have to figure out a way to fix that. I also have some of my letters didn't stamp quite beautifully. So I'm going to have to figure out how to stamp that and fix that as well. Now, if I can spell butterflies without getting messed up while I am talking to you, that is going to be a big 
do that. And I need to make sure that I don't mess up anymore. All right, so these letter stamps I have had in my supplies for quite a while. And letter stamps are just kind of a fun way to use. So now I'm just kind of trying to wipe off that ink. I'm going to have black fingers when I'm done. Just to make sure that I don't make that mistake again. So I do have kind of a plan um, for what I'm going to do here. So I have found some old stickers and these are old creative memory stickers. We used to sell creative memories years and years ago, so have lots of extra stickers. And this was from their like baby collection. And so there are some frogs. So I'm gonna put some of the frogs on. Let's see if I can get some of them to cover up my mistakes. And then the butterflies from the baby collection. Um, and then there was an old world type of collection that also has butterflies on different pages. And so they had different colors. So I liked that. All right. I need to really fix that one up. Butterflies. And this is really all that I'm planning on doing with my page is adding um, kind of the stickers. But I think I will um, put down bullfrogs and butterflies and I'm just gonna write this. I think I'm gonna kind of left justify. We both been born again. And I like to write down, you know, the verse that I'm using. So it's John 3, 3. And I'm going to add a few more stickers. I only have three bullfrogs. So i got to be kind of careful where I place them. And add a few more butterflies and some different colors. I think I will add, well, it's kind of big. So this one I'm going to add going off the page. And then I'm just going to take my scissors. And I'm going to put this wing. And I like the way that looks. And these butterflies are a little smaller. So I wonder if I can, I can put one there at least. And now I'm going to go over with my black marker. So these are Faber-Castell artist pens and they do not leave through. So you can see my ink has fled through a little bit, but my pen has not. So I really love these markers for Bible journaling. They are made with India ink and India ink does not bleed through. If you get alcohol ink markers like Sharpies, they're going to definitely bleed through. Alcohol ink markers are really bad at that. And watercolors a lot of times will bleed through the, the thin pages. But the India ink is one of the best inks to use in the thin pages of your Bible journaling. You know, it doesn't always have to be a super fancy, super difficult, hard page to do. It's really more about getting into your Bible, studying the Word, and, you know, having a little bit of fun and doing something that's meaningful for you. And this song was such a big part of my childhood that it is definitely very meaningful for me. And I just, you know, love this song. The last thing that I usually do is I put the date on here and I'm actually creating this on Sunday, June 23rd. So, June 23, 2019. 
Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, make sure to check out all the other videos in the playlist and have a great day crafting away.